I'm about to tell you, I'm about to reveal to you one of the biggest tricks that men do that they don't really realize is a trick. They don't understand that they are doing it. But I'm gonna tell you one of the biggest ones that they do when it comes to relationships and marriage. Check this out. And maybe this happened to you. Actually, this happened to many people with many couples. And I, I'm gonna say it, and as I say it, I wanted to awaken your own memory and your own experiences and tell me if it happened to you, true or false. Many times after a man gets caught cheating when he's in a relationship, many times after he gets caught cheating, let me tell you the biggest trick. When she gets the news or when she approaches him with the news that she knows that he's cheating, when she tells him and reveals to him evidence of his cheating, one thing that he does a lot of times that's the biggest deflection is he proposes to her. Yeah, he asked her to marry her. Many pe many proposals has been uh, brought up because somebody got caught in a lie, somebody got caught cheating, because it's the best time to bring it up. Because when you ask a woman to marry her after you get caught cheating, she begins to think, damn, he's really sorry. Damn, this is a big apology. Damn, he's not gonna do it again. Damn, let me start, okay, let me start, let me start focus on the cheating. Because technically he wasn't married, so let me focus on the proposal. Oh my God, he must really mean it. Because if he's asking me to marry me, he must really mean it. And so a lot of times this happens on a regular basis. A lot of couples have been engaged only because he has been caught cheating. Listen, I'm telling you right now. If a man proposed to you after he gets caught cheating, don't say yes. This is something that people do to mess with your head. This is something that people do to just confuse you. It's something that, uh, that men do. And you, you know, and again, I'm not saying that they know exactly what they are doing, but it's a way to get out of it very quickly. It's a way to not face their own stuff. It's a way to deflect from the issue. It's a way to bring up something to switch your mind or your mentality because a lot of men know that you want to get married. A lot of men know that marriage is your big goal. A lot of men know that they can drag it in front of you and make you forget everything else. Don't, don't fall for this. Don't fall for it. Trust me. I'm telling you right now, a lot of people get engaged for this reason. Again, if you say yes when a man asks you or proposes to you after he gets caught cheating, it doesn't mean that marriage, because the, the, you know, listen, the truth is marriage don't stop cheating. Marriage don't stop a man from doing what he wants to do. The ring don't stop or change anyone. A ring don't make, what the ring does, it says, listen, this is what you accepted when you say yes. So this is what we're going to continue giving you. And if he's been giving you unfaithfulness and, you know, all these issues and this drama, then the ring says that's his reward. That's your reward. If you give a man a ring, that's his reward for being who he is. So we have to, or if you take a man's ring, it's your reward for giving him, yeah, this is your reward for being who you are. So if you are a liar and a cheater and I just, just got caught you, you know, just got caught cheating and I accept your ring, then this is your reward for doing what you are. Understand the rings don't change people. Marriage don't change people. People should be that husband or wife first before we get married. You should be a husband or wife first before you get married. Let me say that one more time. You should be a husband or wife first. You don't become a husband or a wife after you get married. That's something that you slide into. It should happen first. You should have the mentality, the characteristics of a husband or a wife before anything happens, before anybody walks down anywhere. So I'm telling you right now, I'm telling you right now, one of the biggest lies is that you accept a proposal for somebody who was being lying to you and cheated on you and you said yes because they wanted to deflect from the real issue. The issue was he's cheating. He don't know how, he don't have a way to say I'm sorry. He doesn't have a way to prove his point. He doesn't have nothing to get out of it. So he says, marry me. I want to marry you. And you say, oh my God, tell me if this is true. Tell me if this has happened to you. Tell me if this happened to you. Has it happened to many people, right? I know this, trust me, I know what I'm talking about. You all, think about it. If a man proposed to you after he cheated, don't say yes. Speak about the issue, speak about the cheating, because that's what he's trying to avoid, the conversation. 
Come on, have a beautiful day. Think about it. Let me know. Bless you.